Hi everyone, my name is Gabe Crisaligo and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today I'm going to share some tips on how to apply decals to your parts. I have my USB flash drive here which also serves as a bottle opener, which is pretty awesome. Anytime I'm applying an appearance or a decal, I like to do so at the component level. So I'm going to open up my USB body here. Switch to my display manager, make sure your decals tab is active. And you can right click in this gray space and say add decal. I'm going to browse to the logo that I want to use and apply it to this face here. I can switch to my mapping tab and rotate the image and I can also fit the image based on the height of that face. Now the image that I'm using actually has some white space here and I want to filter out just the colored portions of my logo for this decal. So I can do that using the selective color mask. I can grab this color selection tool and pick the color that I want to filter out from the property manager here on the left hand side. So if I grab this white space you can see it does a pretty good job of filtering that out. But if I zoom in here you can see that it's not the cleanest around the edges of my decal. So another option that we can use is to create an image mask file. and I'm going to do that in Microsoft Paint. I'm going to open up the same logo that I'm using but I'm going to do a file save as and save it as a monochromatic bitmap image. And what that's going to do is turn all the colored portions of my logo to just plain black and white. Now that I have that mask created, switch back to my SolidWorks here, edit the decal and apply that image mask file. Just need to browse to it here. Now the way the image mask works is the decal is displayed where the mask is white and it's blocked where the mask is black. So I can invert the mask here and I get this end result. Click OK and if we zoom in you can see the nice clean edges around the logo of your decal. In this video we discussed a couple of techniques on how to apply decals to your parts using the selective color mask and the image mask file options. Thank you for watching.